In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful gown. It's very simple, so if this sounds like what you're interested in learning, keep on watching and let's get started. Now, for the design in front, I'm going to be using just a crepe for it, but for the inspiration, they made use of a plain fabric and a sewn fabric as well. Now, I have one yard of crepe here, and I have the main Ankara print, which you can see on the table. I also have my velvet ribbon. I have just um three yards of velvet ribbon which i'm not going to finish up yeah so we are going to be folding our fabric into four now this is how i'll be folding it first of all you're going to have to fold into two and then you bring it backward so that the folded part will be on this part you can see what i'm showing you and this part is open okay so that part is going to serve as the zipper allowance and then the folded parts will be serving as the front part so i folded i have both my front and the back together now i'm going to draw my starting line which i have done and then i'm going to place my tape right here and i'll be dividing my shoulder into two and mark after that i'm going to mark in my neck width and the neck depth first of all i'm going to be doing that for the back and after that i will do that for the front as well so my neck width and neck depth i made use of 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches for the front and for the back i made use of 3.5 inches by one inch now after that i went ahead to connect it with a curve can you see what i'm doing now the next step i'm going to take is from here i'm going to place my tape on the shoulder line and come down by one inch for the shoulder slope and after that i'm going to connect it to the neck width now after this i'm going to mark down to the bust point which is um 11 inches and then after that still leaving my tape on the starting point i'm going to mark down to the waistline 17 inches now after this i'm going to mark down to the points 26 inches and then I will probably mark down to the length which I want the Ankara to be, not the total length, okay? Because I'm still going to add up the plain fabric to the damp parts. So I made this of 40 inches. So the total length of the Ankara part is 40 inches. I marked it out and now I'm trying to connect all the points together. Now, after doing this, I'm going to cut off this remaining part because we don't need the excess right there and then i'm going to bring in the plain fabric as well the plain fabric is going to be folded like the way i folded my ankara print which i have done and then use my pins to hold it in place so that they won't shift while i'm trying to fix it on the ankara so this is what i'm trying to show you right now now after this i'm going to try and overlap it on the ankara print and then pin it up so this part that i just um overlapped is going to serve as my sewing allowance okay because i need just like half an inch to sew both the plain fabric and the ankara together on that part so i am done pinning it up i'm going to continue to measure out my length okay so i'll place my tape on the starting line and then measure out the full length remember that the length of the ankara is 40 so I'm going to be using the full length of this, my plain fabric. So the total length I'll be having for my dress is 59 inches, okay? Now after this, I'll move over to the bust points and then mark the shoulder divided by two also. Mark it out and then from the shoulder slope, I'll be going down by eight inches, okay? For my chest line. If you can't do that, just come up from the bust point by two inches, okay? but if you want to go down from the chest line just do your bust circumference divided by six plus 1.5 inches and you're going to get your armhole depth which is the chest line now after this i'll divide my armhole depth into two go in by half an inch and then on the chest line i'll divide my bust circumference by four mark it out and then i'll be adding 1.25 inch for ease allowance and then two inches for my sewing allowance okay so i later added just 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance 
Now, after this, I'll move over to the waistline. I'll divide my waist circumference by 4, mark it out, and add 1.25 inches for ease, because this is a free gown, right? And then add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I'll do the same thing on the hip. Divide my hip circumference by 4, add 1.25 inch for the ease allowance, and then 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance. Now, after this, I will come over here and connect my arm hook cuff. After connecting that, I will go ahead and use my straight ruler to connect from the chest line down to the waistline and then down to the hip points. All right. Now, after this, I'm going to continue to mark out my horizontal measurements. So now I'm going to measure what I have on the hip, exactly what I have on the hip, and then I'm going to put it down on the hemline okay so whatever it is that you have right there go ahead and put it on the hemline so just for me to connect my points together properly i also marked it out right there and then you can see i'm trying to connect the points together so now that i'm done i'm going to come over to the zip allowance and from the center front on the waistline i'm going to go out by one inch okay so my zip allowance, I'm making use of just one inch. After marking it all the way from the neckline down to the hemline, I went ahead to use my ruler to connect it together. Now, after connecting it together, I'll go ahead and cut it out. And that is it for this um, front and the back piece of my gown. I am done connecting it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And I'm done cutting it out next. I'll go ahead and cut out my neckline, okay? Now, I'll cut my, my back neckline first. And then after that, I'm going to insert half an inch sewing allowance for the shoulder. After adding it up, I'll go ahead and connect it and then continue to cut it out, okay? Now, after that, I'll move back to the front neck depth, cut it out. And then I will continue to cut. So to cut this out, first of all, I'm going to cut out my back armhole. And then after that, I'm going to cut the front armhole, just as you can see me doing like this. And then after that, I'm going to continue to cut this out. It is so simple, guys. Okay. You know, you already know that this is a simple dress, just like, just that it has um, a design in front. So it's actually very simple. Okay. So pay good attention to how I'm doing every of this. And if you're yet to hit on the subscribe button, please subscribe and turn on your post notification so you can get notif notified for whenever I upload a new video. Now that I'm done cutting this out, you guys, I'm going to have to notch my zipper allowance. After notching it, I will probably go down to the hemline and also notch the zipper allowance, okay? So that it will be so easy for me to follow the line and stitch it down to the hemline. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the pins. By joining the Ankara print and the plane together. And also the one I used to hold the damp part and the upper part together. Now after that, I'm going to remove it by the side. And then we're going to have to remove the back piece. And then you can see I've brought in this... Um, plain fabric which i'm going to use to cut out the design in front okay so i'm trying to use my piece to hold it in place now this piece is just enough to cut out what i want for the design okay it doesn't have any measurements per se so whatever how big your design in front would look it's what determines the amount of fabric you're going to cut out so i've placed it on the i placed my ankara on the plain fabric and i'm going to use my pins to hold it in place just to cut out the neckline first of all now after cutting out the neckline i will now bring it up to the front so that it can be on top of the ankara prints all right 
So I am done cutting it out. I also went ahead to cut out the shoulder. Now, after doing this, next, I'm going to turn it like this so that the plain fabric will not be on top of it. And then, next, I'm going to go ahead and mark the length that I want this design to be, okay? So, from the shoulder line, I'm going to measure down to about 20 or 18 inches. I can't really remember what I used, okay? So, I marked out um, 19 inches. Now, after that, I, from the shoulder, went out by 4 inches. And then I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect from the shoulder down to the length, okay? So, it is quite very easy. Now, you can see, I'm just trying to connect it. Now that I'm done connecting this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And yeah, this is it. This is what I have. So I'm going to open it up for you guys to see what it looks like. Okay. So I'm trying to remove my pins so that I'll be able to remove the plain fabric from the Ankara print. So go ahead and open up your Ankara and match it up to make sure that they align properly, okay? So the center ma must match up to the center and the neckline must match up to the neckline. Now, whatever I did on this plain fabric, you can use any fabric of your choice to do that, okay? The inspiration that we are looking at, they actually use a velvet um, sequin fabric for it but i decided to use a plain fabric for mine okay so i'm going ahead to pin it up on the neckline after that i'm going to use a hemming tape or hemming gum whichever you know it as to hold it on the ankara print okay so that it will stay stable while i stitch up my velvet ribbon on it okay so i am done holding it down and please you're going to make sure that the center aligns with the center of your ankara all you have to do is go ahead and fold your ankara into two and iron it once you iron it you're going to have the center line show on the ankara and then you follow the line to place in your center okay so now after this you can see i'm trying to show you how to join the plain fabric and the ankara together so it is quite very simple. Just go ahead and place it right side facing each other and then you join. So guys, at this point, I am done joining the plain fabric and you can see what I have right there. Also, I have marked out the middle of this plain fabric. So what I did is from the point where the Ankara ends to the hemline, I measured um, the middle part and then marked it out because I'm going to place an Ankara on it, okay? I have equally done the same thing for the two back piece. So that is what I'm trying to show you right now. Next thing I'm going to do is bring in this fabric, which I'm going to place on it, okay? Now, the inspiration, they used a velvet fabric for this particular design, right? But for mine, I'm going to make use of my Ankara print, okay? I just want to add up a little bit of tweets. So whichever one you like, go ahead and do that. You can even bring in your own style. You mustn't copy all the, everything that you see in a style, okay? You can actually twist it. Like, you can actually bring out your own design, okay? So what I did was to measure my Ankara, fold in half an inch on both sides, and then place it on this fabric use my pins to hold it down in place okay so now after this i'm going to use my hemming tape or hemming gum whichever you know it as i keep calling it hemming tape it is actually the main name for it okay hemming gum hemming tape whatever you know it as it is okay okay so i went ahead to do that for the back as well as you can see for both backs okay so that is what i'm trying to do right here now um i am done with one part i'm repeating the same thing for the other parts just like i said place it make sure that that line that you marked out is the middle okay and the ankara is white 
on that line okay so i am done doing that if i have any sx i will go ahead and cut it out now i'll move back to my sewing machine and stitch it on both sides okay but what i usually do is to hold this with a hemming gum first of all before i stitch so i am done stitching that and this is what it looks like you can see how beautiful this is looking already now the next thing i'm going to do is to turn my neckline okay so i'll be using this black bias i do not have a yellow bias or a golden bias okay i do not have that but i'm going to use this black bias it is going to be inside it's not going to show on the front part that's why i'm making use of that after that i'm going to hold my zipper allowance and join my zip okay you can see i am done joining my zipper and this is what i have okay now uh, can you see what the neckline looks like you're not even seeing the black bias okay so that's why i made use of that but if you know you cannot your, your hand is not going to be neat as mine please go and find a golden bias to make use of okay now it's time for us to join the velvet ribbon so i will go ahead and place it just follow the line that you have on that design and then you place it okay so one part of it i will cut it off where this um design ended can you see but please ensure that you use your pins to hold it and then i will also place on the other part now this part is going to cross the other velvet ribbon and then extend down to the hemline so you can see what i'm trying to do just make use of your pins to hold it in place and as usual after holding it i will go and use my hemming gum to hold it in place before sewing it okay so what this does is it will help your whatever it is that you want to sew stay in place why you stitch it up okay and please remember to follow the middle of your ankara to do this now guys i am done doing that and this is what i have so i'm now going to go ahead and join my shoulders together the front and the back piece i will go and join the shoulders together make sure that the right side are facing each other after joining the shoulders together go ahead and stitch up the side and then this dress also comes with a side pocket so i will also be fixing that i remember that this also has a slit okay so i also went ahead to finish up my slits and then next i'm going to cut out my basic sleeve and then join it into this dress and you guys that will be all for this particular dress you can see that it's actually very very simple this is what i have on top of the table i am done and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and share this particular video so that more people can get to see it i will see you in my next one